Hey fellas, Joe here. If you want to subscribe, it's iPilot4411. Well, I have some exciting news, guys. It, uh, well, it's exciting for me, so relatively speaking. Um, it's a winter project. Um, obviously, it's a flying machine. Um, I know I've been scratching my head for a while trying to figure out what I want next. I mean, I do I have the... The A20, I have the T-Rex 700, you know, and the uh, Fusion 50, which is a 600 size helicopter. I have the 550 and the 450 and the 250. But I make a jump between the 450 and the 550, so I was wondering what I should get next, you know, if anything. And I think what I'm missing is a 500 size helicopter. Um, it's, I mean, it's a... You know, when you want to take out one of your birds and fly it, and you don't want to go too big, but you don't want to go too small. You know, 450 disappears really quick in the air. And a 550 at times may be too large for the field you're going to go fly in. So, 500 seems to be ideal for what I was looking for. Um, so, here, what I have is, what I ended up getting was a RJX. Vectron. It's actually a 520. So uh, let's take a look. So I got it out of the main box. So it was a box in a box. So what we have is the tail boom. And the tail boom is um, carbon fiber throughout. And it's awfully, it's, it's, a, it's a thicker tail boom. I'll bring the camera in closer in a minute. It's a thicker tail boom because it's belt drive. The tail, it's a belt drive tail. And here we have the uh, frame halves. Like I said, I'll bring the camera in closer. And we have the, the blades, carbon fiber blades. The belt, tail belt. Stickers. You know how important stickers are. Let me move this before I stab myself. And we have tail blades. We have screws and assorted hardware. We have, looks like the uh, bearing blocks, tail assembly. Looks like we have the head, the main grips. And looks like we have a sandwich here. Ham sandwich. Ham on the hungry side. Someone packed up their sandwich here. They're probably missing it. Yeah. All right. Looks like we have the uh, the main gear and some head parts. block, bearing blocks, and the canopy. Wow. Nice. Nice fiberglass canopy. I know the camera doesn't do it justice, um, but it's a, there's a pearl finish on it. Absolutely beautiful finish. You know, and has the nice air inlets for the motor. You know, to draw in fresh air, keep it cool. 
and it has a wrap. I like the wrap around the uh, main gear. So here's their blades. I could have got one with the green inside, but I didn't want to because eventually I may end up changing the color of this. I don't know. It depends on how I feel. Their manual, you have to download it offline. That's the only thing I don't like about it. Um, but that's not a problem for me. Okay, guys, that's it. Um, like I said, it's a pretty solid helicopter. Uh, it's a, it's a, actually, it's a pretty solid kit. Uh, it has nice, real, really nice blades, RJX blades without the insert, the color insert. Um, RJX makes pretty good blades, and uh, they also made pretty good helicopters. They have one called the X-Tron, which was a 500 helicopter that came out a couple of years ago. They actually had a few of them. They also have the Vector, which is a 700 size helicopter, and they also have this one, the Vectron 520. You know, it has solid parts. You know, uh, the carbon fiber frame halves look good. Tail boom looks good, and uh, good aluminum machining it looks like. Um, so check it out if you if you want to buy a you know mod moderately priced helicopter, one that you don't have to break the bank on, a 500 size helicopter. I would suggest uh, going after the Vectron or after RJX. I would suggest going after RJX. And uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to make a build video, guys. Uh, I'm not sure yet. It's up, up in the air. Um, but nice helicopter. So stay tuned for more videos. And that's it. Peace and cheers.